Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to understand what are the parameters in the SO data factory instance and how we can use the parameters. So if we go through the Microsoft documentation, it's this very good documentation. Here it is written that how we can use the parameters function and what are the parameters. There are one-liner statements which uh, will give some clarity that we can use the parameters to pass external values into the pipeline and to the data sets and to the link service and data flows. So basically parameters is being used to provide the external values at the runtime. Parameters is used to make your pipeline dynamic. At the runtime you can pass the values. Okay, values like uh, like the database name to which database you wanted to connect with, to which block storage you wanted to connect with, to which server you wanted to connect with or any other things. Okay, so uh, that is basically used to make your pipeline data set or links uh, services dynamic. So we have uh, parameters, we can create a parameters at the uh, pipeline level, we can create a parameters at the data set level or we can create a uh, uh, parameters at the link service level. So in this session, we are going to see, uh, I am going to show you how we can, I can create a link service and then I can create a parameters on the link service and then we can uh, pass the external value at the runtime. So go to the portal. I have opened this portal. Here I have a data factory. Let me open the data factory instance and uh, I'm going to create a data set. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm going to create a linked service which is going to connect with uh, database Azure demo database and sample DB database in my uh, uh, Azure portal you can see I have server Azure SQL server demo let me open this in this server I have two databases being created so let me show you first what we are going to do so this is my SQL server Azure SQL server demo 03 if you go to this set uh, thing SQL database you can see two database I have been I have created in this server okay Azure demo database and, and sample DB database now I wanted to create a link service in my Azure DB uh, in ADF and from there I wanted to test one time I wanted to connect with Azure demo database and one time we, I wanted to connect with a sample DB database and I, you, I will use only one link service okay. If, uh, uh, if I need to connect, I mean in traditional way if we will not use the parameters what I need to do if I need to connect to the Azure demo database I need to create, create a one link service. And if I wanted to create connect with the sample DB database in the same server, I need to create another link service. So instead of creating a two link service to connect with different different database in the same server, what we can do, we can create a one link service and we can use only that one link service and pass this value dynamically. Okay, so go to the data factory. Let me open the studio user interface for uh, Azure data factory here. It will take a little while. Okay, here in the uh, here you can see I need to go to the manage tab, and in the manage tab there is an option to create a link service. These are the link service which is already been created. So what I need to do? I need to create a new link service, and this new link service is going to connect with my database. Okay, so what I'm going to do? SQL Server. This is the type of the link service which is going to connect to this my SQL server. Okay, so let me give a name as link service for SQL server. If you wanted to give description, you can give it. I'm keeping it blank. And here you need to, you can give server name, database name, okay, username and password. So these four, uh, uh, the value for these four things, okay, server name, database, username and password. This makes a connection string for your server and this is mandatory which you have to pass. Very first thing that username and password is basically we should in ideal scenario uh, we cannot we should not pass it in, into the um, as a parameter we should not give the values. We should keep this username and password in the Azure Key Vault service. Azure Key Vault service is, uh, uh, is a separate uh, Azure uh, service which will be responsible to hold your username and sensitive information into it and it will create a secret for that and you use that secret value. So 
So, but now in the demonstration, I will use the hard coded value which I know for username and password. I don't want my username and password to be uh, given dynamically. If you see here for all these four things, okay, server name, database, username, and password, you can see this blue uh, icon, okay, uh, blue thing, add dynamic content. For server name, for database name also I can see, for username also I can see dynamic content and even for the password also I can see this value. Okay, so that means what, what is the meaning of this? Whenever you, for any of the text box in ADF, if you see this content, okay, add dynamic content, that means that text box is eligible for providing a value at the runtime. That means we can create a parameter and in the parameter we can pass the value at the runtime. So server name we can create a uh, dynamic value so what we can do uh, first thing is you can create you can click on this and you can add the dynamic content like that you can and here is there is a uh, plus icon so that you can use or what i can in my demonstration we, what we are going to do we are going to connect to the two different database in the same server so if you see in the demo server this is my demo server and in that i am going to connect to the two different databases so my server is same okay so no need to make it dynamic so what we need to do we have to provide the complete server name so this is the complete server name if you see azure server demo dot database dot windows dot at net so just copy it go here and provide your server name because i have uh, only one server so i am putting the server complete domain name complete name of the server here this database is something that i wanted to make it dynamic using the parameter for that i need to create a parameter at the linked service in the linked service level so click on uh, parameters expand the parameters here you can see the plus new icon click on this and it will allow you to create new parameters so i wanted database name okay so i have given as a database name and why i use the ln because this parameter which i have created at the linked service level i am not creating this parameter at the pipeline level so that's why this is at the linked uh, service level so i have given that nomenclature uh, naming convention for that okay so this is done now what i am to do i have created a pipeline now i need to map that parameter value to my database so that when i execute it okay when i test my connection that time when I provide a value, that value will come into this, uh, uh, this here, the default value put it here, okay, and this, how this uh, parameter is mapped to my uh, database name, okay, for that you have to click on add dynamic content and you have to map it, for mapping you have to just click on this, so what will happen, whatever the value will, uh, it hold, okay, from the link service it will map to your uh, database so that way you can click on and and this one is nothing but a uh, expression language so if you are not aware of the expression that is fine but what it is saying at the rate link service that means this is the parameter which has been created at the link service level okay so click on okay so if you can see here server name is my server name okay this is fixed database name is the runtime the value will be provided at the runtime sql authentication that is fine username password is also hard-coded and it is going to be a same for both the database so let me create it so this so it will take a little uh, few seconds to create the link service for it and then we will test it to check okay so successfully saved here this is the one which we have created open it click on it now we have to test it how we can pass the value Okay, we have created a parameters, we have create map the parameter with my actual uh, database key. So how I can pass the value to the parameters for that? Click on test connection and here when you click on test connection, it will ask the actual value to be provided to the parameters. So this is where we say that dynamically we are changing the value of the database and accordingly the link survey, uh, link survey service will connect to your database. So here, if we go to the server and go to your SQL database and this is the database, click on this. Just I open my database and this is the name of the database. I copy it, it go to my data factory and put this value, click on OK. See, test connection successful. That means my link service is able to connect to my uh, 
uh, as our demo database. Okay. Now I'm going to again test it. Click on test, and this time I am passing a, another database. Okay. So you go to my server. Go back to my server again. Go to SQL database. This time I open this sample DB. Just copy my this database name and pass this database name here and click on OK. See connection successful. So this way we can use what we did. We created only one link service that is Allen underscore SQL Server. And this same service uh, link service you are able to connect to both database in the same server. So this way we can create parameters. This is the functionality of the parameter. This is the benefit of using the parameter. This will reduce the number of resources in your Azure Data Factory instance. You will not require, suppose you have a 10 pipelines in the 10 pipelines, uh, they are connecting to the different different database in the same server. Instead of creating a 10 link service to connect to those 10 databases, we can create only one link service and we will add the parameter for the database whose value will be provided at the runtime. So that is the benefit of using the parameter at the link service. So in this demo, I have only showed how we can create a parameter at the link service level. In the next demo, I'll show you how we can create a parameter at the database level, at the data set level. Okay. Uh, till the time, uh, happy good day and happy learning. Thank you and have a nice day, guys.